What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated everybody. You know, uh, Team Galactic set off a bomb at Lake Valor, I think, or Lake Variety. I keep on mistaking the, I, I keep on mistaking both of them. But yes, there was a bomb set, and unfortunately, the bunch of Magikarp are about to, you know, meet its maker, or, you know what, survive. But we defeated Team Saturn, or we defeated uh, Commander Saturn and Mars, and now it is time for us to go to Snow Point City. And I always get this, like, I always get this confused because Mount Cornet is so big that we, you know, it, it's just like, it, it's, it's a big ass maze, okay, guys? So what we're going to be doing is going straight to Route 210, and, or 211, I should say. And we're going to see if we can get to Snow Point City. Now, the name says it all, yes, it's snow. There's a lot of snow. There's too much snow. I don't know if I like snow. I I really don't know. Anywho, let's go right ahead and put on a repel. And what needs to happen now, guys, is you do need a Pokemon that has Rock Smash and Strength in order to get by this whole area right here. And I have a feeling that you might need a Pokemon that knows, like, what was it called? Uh... What was it called? Uh, Defog. And that move, oh my god, it is the most useless move ever. And look at this, we got ourselves a TM69 rocks, uh, rock, sol or rock Polish. And, well, we're going to be going through here. And this will lead us towards the area where Route 210 is. And look at that. Okay, so we're making some progress. And we're going to be smashing through some rocks right here. Yes, I know, I've taught my Pokemon, some of my main Pokemon... Some ancient moves that we really don't need, but guess what? We're gonna still go. St we're, we're still gonna stick with them. So as you guys can tell, we're going straight down, and here we are, defog. And yeah, this right here is a pretty messed up place because well, we need a Pokemon that can actually see through this area. Now, if you're facing a Pokemon that in the in the fog, you won't be able to see as clearly. So, we're gonna go through here, just, uh, you know, we're gonna go here in the blind because, you know, screw it. And here we found ourselves a light clay, which, uh, I think it'll help out with, like, what was it called, uh... Damn it, I think it'll help, help out with, like, sandstorm or something, and, well, let's see. There's nothing right there, so we're gonna be going for some more items. And, like I said before, guys, we're not gonna be battling any Pokemon. We're just gonna be moving things around, breaking things. And here we go. And here we found ourselves a, another area to rock smash. And here we found ourselves a soft sand, which is good for any kind of rock or ground type moves. And well, let's see. What else can we find right here? Definitely not another Pokemon to, to battle in the in the fog, because that, that right there would suck. Now, if we go right here, yes, we're going to be able to find this little sucker. Here we found ourselves a revive, and, well, we still got two more items. I'm going to go to the tar portion right here, break this little sucker down, and bam, full restore. Now, this is kind of like, you know, going through a cave in the dark. It's just you just know where to go because, you know, you've played it so many times. This right here, same thing. Okay, so that's done, and, well, here we are at the very end of this whole area. And you see... That's why we don't waste uh, a good move for, you know, for defog because you're only going to need it for that place and really, you only need to find items, that's all. And here we are in Mount Coronet and this special location right here will eventually be an even special place if that makes any sense for a specific, you know, reason. Okay, so here we are guys in Route 216 and, well, yeah. This right here is the bane, is the bane of my existence because well, you do sink in this uh, in the snow right here. It's very annoying, and you will be able to find some pretty interesting Pokemon right here. But if you know you're playing the emulator like I am, I would suggest uh, you know I would suggest using the speed button just because you know this happens. Okay, so here we go and brick break for the win. Come on. And here comes a Rapidash, so let's go with Poseidon right here. Now, I did teach Poseidon Rock Smash, and wow, we get hurt real, real badly. Okay, so let's continue on right here. Now, remember, it may be snow, but it's really hail, so 
just make sure to get, keep yourself a nice type Pokemon while you're at it. And, uh, well, let's see. Burn heal. Nope, not gonna happen right there. Let's go with this guy. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this little item right here. Now, you could be skipping all these trainers, but as many of you guys already know, I do love myself a good challenge. So let's go right ahead and challenge everybody right here. And, well, here we have Ambipom. The first time we're seeing this Pokemon right here. It is the evolved form of a Apom. And here we have Porygon 2. This Pokemon, strong AF. And just like that, Toothless grows to level 42. And... Well, let's see. I think that's pretty much it for all the trainers right there. So, even if you try to run, guys, you'll, you'll get sunk in. Now, this place is home to, or it, it, it is home to a, a bunch of ice-type Pokemon that you probably would want to capture. You know, Sneasel, uh, Bomb of Snow, that's another Pokemon that's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty great right there. And, of course, we get Paralyzed. And, well, we're both going to be hit by, by Hail, so here we go. And, yes, we're getting our butts kicked because we got paralyzed. Holy crud. Okay, so, Toothless, come on, help me out here. Dragon Claw for the win. And just like that, we win. Okay, so, let's heal up our Pokemon because, well, you know, we're trainers like that. So, we go in there. And, let's go with this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go uh, with Electro Star. Give it a little bit of love right there. And we're going to be battling every single trainer. Now, why am I speeding up everything is because, well, I am sick and tired of getting sunk into these whole areas, the, the snowy areas. It really does, uh, it really does, it, it just drags everything. It does, and it, it's just annoying. Now, I wish I hadn't healed my Pokemon because there's a healing item right, or healing area. So, we're going to be battling some more trainers. And here we go up against Mr. Mime. So, let's go straight for a bite attack right here. And just like that, we win this guy. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a... Uh, he's going to be coming out with a Scyther right here. So, let's go Flamethrower attack. And Flamethrower attack for the win. Scyther, you are a scary Pokemon. And here comes a Dusclops. So, let's go with Rosemon. I haven't used you in quite some time. And let's go with this, Giga Drain, and that right there is not going to be working, so here we go. And we're going we're gonna to have to drain in some of its attack right here, and wow. So, one of our Pokemon faints, so let's go with Toothless right here, Dragon Claw, for the win. And, well, it looks like we're going to have to be healing up our Pokemon right here. So that's probably the reason why I just, like, messed up my Pokemon. So, talk to this person, and he's like, Yahoo! This lodge seen better days, but relax, make yourself at home. Okay, alrighty, so yes, we are healthy and ready to go, so let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here, and like always, we're going to be speeding through this because, well, yeah, once we get to Route 217, it's going to get hard, and well, would you look at that, Maylene has spotted us, and she's like, oh, Draven, um, are you maybe on your way to Snowpoint City? That's where I'm going too. If I use a uh, fly, I can get there instantly, but I'm walking to training my, uh, and training. I have no problem with this. I'm used to the cold because I go barefoot lightly dr and lightly dressed. Achoo! Oh, that was nothing. Really. I'm not, I'm not cold at all. I'll be going out. Please take care. And, well, as you guys can see, there's a blizzard afoot. And this is what makes it so difficult for you to actually play this whole thing, so... Here we are taking on some more Pokemon, and this is an electric type Pokemon, so we gotta go straight to our good old buddy Toothless to win this, and go with the Earthquake attack for the win, and well, here comes Magmar, so let's go with Poseidon right here, and go straight for a Surf attack, and just like that, grows level 43. And as always, we're getting burned because, you know, why not? And, well, let's see, let's grab this, and let's go ahead and switch it out and find some items. Now, I think this is an item that we need. Hold on. Nope, this is the blue shard. But there is a special item here that we, we desperately need that will eventually help us out in the long run. And here it is, an Ultra Ball. That's not the item. And, well, let's see, I am going to battle everybody because... Remember, guys, you have to you have to have seen every single Pokemon in the Sinnoh decks in order to progress. So just be aware of that. And here comes a Snover. So let's go right ahead 
and go with Togepi right here. And Togepi is going to go with a fly attack. And just like that, we have defeated Snover, and Togepi goes to level 38. So let's continue on right here. More Snovers trying to attack us, and there you go. And, well, let's go right ahead and find some more Pokeballs right here. Now, I do see something right here, but that is a Ninja. And here he comes out with a Golbat. So let's go right ahead and go with this Shockwave attack. And, yes, we're getting poisoned, as always, because, well, you know, Arceus hates us. And now we're a triple hit. Wow. Okay, so there we go. And just like that, Electro Star finally grows a level. And this move is is Thunderfang. This right here is a physical attack, 6 to 5 power. Let's go ahead and take away charge because we really don't need it anymore. And well, before anything happens, let's go right ahead and again heal up our Pokémon. Thankfully, we are, you know, stocked up in everything. So, let's go right ahead and find that item that we need. Uh, okay, here we go. And here is the trainer coming out with a snow run. Now, remember guys, in this game right here, if you get a female snow run, you can actually evolve it into a ghost slash ice type Pokemon. That right there is a frost last, that's what it is. And well, I'm going fast, but as you guys can see, there are certain areas right here where you sink. And well, here we found ourselves an iron. And well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Rosemon right here. And well, let's see, I see another ninja. But before we go there, here we found ourselves a TM07 Hail, which uh, is not the item that we need. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue battling. And he's coming out with a Skoropi. Let's go with a Grass Whistle. That will help us out. And, well, let's go with Giga Drain. Not going to affect us. And it's using Acupuncture. Sheesh. Okay, so let's go... Let's go right ahead and go with Poseidon right here. Toxic Spikes will not work against us. So let's go with a, fly, a Plug Attack. Don't know why it's using that. And just like that, we have defeated this guy. And here comes a gold bat. So let's go straight for Rosemont just to take away the toxic spikes. And going straight back to... No, not this guy. Let's go with Poseidon right here. And the mean look will hit us. So let's go straight for a Surf Attack. Air Cutter's going to hit us. And here we go again. Surf Attack for the win. There we go. And again, there is an item right here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so grabbing this, we found ourselves the HMOA Rock Climb, which will enable us to, you know, climb walls and all that stuff. It is pretty much one of the most useless uh, HMs ever. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, "Well, I was fighting my way through the blizzard. I dropped an HM. If I still had it, if if I still had that hidden move, Rock Climb, I'd be able to scale sheer cliffs." Hey, what's this? You found the hidden machine. But I've really already given up for uh, for Lost, and you found it. But it's yours to keep, my friend. Make good use of it. I like your honesty, though. Let me reward you with this. And here we get ourselves an Icicle Plate, which the original one breathed alone before the universe came. That Icicle Plate, I found uh, that under the snow as well. I'm no expert, but it looks to be of an uh, or ancient origin. Even as old as the time when Sinnoh came alone into being. Okay. And remember guys, those icicles or those uh, those plates will come in handy later on. And here we found ourselves another rare candy. So let's see. We're going to be battling some more Pokemon trainers right here. And of course this guy's going to have himself that Pokemon. And that will help us out just a little. And here comes a Sneasel. Okay, so here we go. Icy Wind hurts us. Giga Drain kicking some butt. So here we go again. And yes, we're getting our butts kicked right now by the snow. So here we go. Just like that, and we win. Okay, so how can we see? And there is another house right here, so let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. And if you talk to this lady, she's like, A person! A rare sight! Thank you for visiting! A gift! And here we get ourselves a spell tag. This right here, uh, spell tag, it intensifies ghost type moves. It may serve you well. Okay. Do I have a ghost type Pokemon? I don't know. No, I don't. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what this person's all about. And, well, she's looking under buried snow. The pig. And, well, if you go right here, you're going to be finding yourself a boulder encrusted in ice. It is chilling to the touch. And if you have yourself an Eevee and level it up one, it will be able to evolve into Glaceon. And uh, that right there is super... That right there is pretty good for you if you guys want to get yourself an ice type Pokemon. 
And, well, here we have another Pokemon battle, so let's go ahead and switch it out to Togepri. And go straight for the fly attack right there. And look at that, we're getting some points. Here comes Machoke, so let's go right ahead, another fly attack. And just like that, Machoke defeated. And here comes Rayolu, so let's continue it on. Fly attack. Rayolu, I'm sorry, but there it is. Fly attack yet again. Okay. God dang Blizzard. You see, this is the reason why, you know, I hated this game. Link Acuity is up ahead, so let's go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. And, of course, we're going to be getting some more Pokemon battles. This is the reason why we're shaving some time off right here. And, wow, we get we get our butts kicked right there and then. Okay, so let's go with Toothless and go with the Dragon Claw for the win. And here comes Buneary, so Buneary takes this Dragon Claw. And level 44 Toothless is there, so... Let's go right ahead and go with Electro Star. Hopefully this Thunderfang will win, and yes, it will. Look at that. Okay, so... Again, I gotta stop making this Pokemon faint because it probably won't like me at the end. And... well, let's see. Let's go with a Super Potion. Super Potion to everybody. I'm pretty much wasting these Super Potions. I don't even know why. Okay, so let's go with this. Super Potion. Super Potion. And Super Potion. There we go. Okay, so everybody's healed. And, well, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. And, of course, like I said, you'll be able to find yourself a Snover, a Grass-slash-Ice-type Pokemon that, well, evolve into a pretty powerful Pokemon. And look at that. These, the Blizzard has ended. And, well, like I said, this whole place is annoying. And you won't be able to find anything. So I'm going to speed this up right here. And once you get to this location right here, you're going to be seeing Barry. He's like, hey, Driven! What, you finally came along now? Slow, way too slow. Listen, Dravy, listen, Draven. See how the rocks are lumpy up here? You can't climb those, in, uh, you, climb, you can't climb those rocks until you get the snow point uh, gym badge. Anyway, I'm off. Team Galactic, I'm coming for you. Okay, well, I hope you get your butt kicked. That right there, I hope so. And, well, I think we're getting close to the very end right here. So let's go ahead and speed this up. I really do hate the snow right here, plus the Pokemon, and well, you'll be able to find some pretty good ice type Pokemon, guys. And here it is, a Snover again, and I am not going to go for these Pokemon right here. But I will be going for some of the items that are hidden right here. Like this one, we'll find ourselves another Ultra Ball. And, well, let's see, no more Pokemon trainers, and well, would you look at that, guys. We have finally reached Snow Point City, and like the name itself, it is filled with snow. Lots of snow. And here is another Ultra Ball, because I guess that's a precursor to what's about to happen. And, well, we're going to leave it right here, guys. In the next episode, yes, we will be going into the next gym battle to win our seventh badge. Plus, get to see Barry get his butt kicked. Other than that, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive, as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. See you guys.